you know what i feel like a lot of dbas even though they are so much experienced they still lack or they have some or the other problem when it comes to data normalization i don't know why i feel like every dba should know about normalization because it is one of the fundamental blocks for a dba if you know normalization well and if you can refine the data for any customer trust me it is one of the best skills that you can have in this video i would like to talk to you about the data normalization welcome back guys guys every time i talk to the new dbas they always have some or the other confusion with normalization and you know what normalization is one of my favorite concepts because it is so simple so what i thought is like i will come up with a video where i'll explain you how normalization is used in real world when we design softwares or the databases for our clients what i'm going to do today is i will take up a random example okay let's take up example of a car wash okay so let's assume we have a client and this client is having a car wash company now this client comes to us and says hey Aaron, i want you to build a front end application for us now if you know the front end application will always have a back end right we need a place to store the data the data is always stored in the back end that's the oracle database or some of the other kind of database even before anyone can build the front end we need to first build the back end and to build the back end normalization comes into picture one of the simplest concepts trust me guys if you understand like the concept behind the database development you will understand how the software development happens what we are going to do today is so we have a friend named john john comes to us and says hey Arun, uh, i am planning to build a front-end application for my car wash company so how do i go about it so the first step is we talk to john and we say hey john what data is important to you right so we will assume things and try to build the data database the backend for john's car wash company right so john says okay for me the most important thing is like my supplies right for car wash they need some supplies okay so this is important to john and then we say okay what else john says customer information is also important so see this guys i'm just writing whatever john is saying okay customer info and we ask john what else he says what type of car customer owns i want to know that so car make car model and we ask john what else and he says i want to have a place where i have all the invoices right the customer invoices the billing so i write okay billing and so john says okay i would still need customer address where customer stays because uh, let's take tomorrow if i want to contact certain people who stay in a particular area i must be able to see that information so we are like okay address right and so likewise john tells us all the information and we right away put the information on a whiteboard like this now here is the thing guys first you as a database architect what you have to do is you have to get the information that is important to the customer we have the information that is important to our customer john now as a database architect what we will do is we will try to refine the data that's our next step so how do we refine with this information this is half baked information we will add more data to this information so that it makes some sense for example so for billing having only like a billing table or a column will not make sense so what we do we need to add more data to it what else can be there so for billing let's take the amount right we need to know what is the total bill amount for the customer all right and then quantity 
like how many car washes were done one two five right so we are adding more data to it this is not important to john technically but it is important for the application to function well this information even though john might not say because he is not a dba he gave us the main information now it's our job to build the entire backend on top of the information that we have for supplies what else do we need supplies okay uh, when we got the supplies so that means uh, date and time right and next is like we need to know uh, the quantity quantity of supplies the total bill right and so on now customer info i i want to know the uh, name and then i want to know the car model number and then i want to know the address and so on right what we have done we try to add more data to the application believing that this data it might not be of importance today but tomorrow john might need this data right so that's why with our experience we add some more columns or we add some more information i'm not telling you uh, like these are columns or tables we'll skip that for now so we are adding more information to the data that is available to us and this is the step one of building the database or the backend for any customer right so what we did we got a customer we asked one question what is important to you customer said these all things are important to me we added more information to the data to make it more meaningful even though this data or this information might not be used by john immediately but as per our experience in near future john got to have this data right that is like we are pouring our experience all right step one is done step one is simple we understand their important information we add our own experience and we put some data over or onto the board the step two is more logical guys in step two what happens we group the data based on um, like where it is suitable right for example like we can group this billing so for billing i also need the date and time on when the bill was generated for the customer right i also want to know for which customer this bill was generated right so i'm grouping the data right the next one is supplies okay i'll group this data and then i'll group this data right step one is adding meaningful information on the board step two is grouping the data logically so right now if you look at logically our data says we can have three tables what are those three tables we can have like billing table we can have supplies table and we can have customer table can you see how by simply putting data onto the board it starts making logical sense when you arrive at this point this is when you start the normalization because this data is not perfect right but we know that this data is important to john this data is important to application and this data is also important for future growth of john's business right so logically we see that there can be three tables for the car wash company that john owns and now the process of normalization starts i would like to challenge all of you what i want you to do is go to support.dbgenesis.com we have an amazing article about data normalization i want you to read that entire article and use the first normal form second normal form and third normal form approach to refine this car wash data all right very important in one of my next videos i would come up with more complex examples of normalization and would love to challenge all of you to work with me to normalize real world data trust me guys one of the simplest ways when you start playing with the data like this you start getting to love the oracle database 
first you got to know how the tables are built and that how can only be answered when you work on exercises like this so john's car wash company i want you to normalize the data put your comments below this video and i'll see you all in the next video bye